Setting up head tracking using OpenTrack or FaceTrack No IR has many options and settings that can be adjusted and tweaked to your liking. If you are new to head tracking and want more information on open source software and hardware available, check out my head tracking options video here. I'm going to cover the most common settings in these two programs and how they affect control of your view along with a couple of tips in getting the most out of the head tracking experience now. Curves Curves on your head tracking work essentially the same way as they do when adjusting your joystick's output. The curves adjust how much input is required for movement of your head in degrees versus how much output the game sees movement of your avatar's head in game. Both face track no IR and open track curves are divided into rotations, pitch roll and yaw, and translations side to side, up and down, forwards and backwards. Translations move along X, Y and Z axis. X is side to side, Y is up and down and Z is forward and back. The Rotations tab has each of the rotations axis control split into two sides, either side of center. This allows for asymmetric rates of motion from center, left to right, up to down, and roll left to right. OpenTrack, unlike FaceTrack No IR, also allows for asymmetrical translation. Along each curve box is the input axis, vertical, versus output axis, horizontal, in degrees. Note that the input degrees in FaceTrack No IR is limited to less than 50. This is a limitation of using face tracking instead of IR point model tracking. The camera needs to be able to see all of your face, your eyes, your nose and your chin to accurately track your movements. Turning your head past 50 degrees would mean that the camera could no longer locate all of your face to track it. OpenTrack does not have this limitation and will allow inputs of up to 180 degrees. This will allow for more flexibility when using widescreen monitors. A linear curve makes for one-to-one -one output to the game. This means that moving your head 20 degrees to the left will result in your avatar's view moving 20 degrees to the left. Curves lower than directly linear will result in higher outputs with less movement of your head. Curves higher than linear will provide a higher output. Linear curves limit the amount your avatar's head can turn to only the width of your monitor and your eyes will comfortably allow. Although this feels pretty natural, it makes for a limited view cone and will not allow for looking hard left and right. This is where custom curves come in. Generally, you are going to want to have your output increase as your input increases. This will make only small motions when moving your head around the center of the screen while still allowing you to turn your avatar's head to the full extent when your head is turned as far as comfortable. Depending if you plan on using head tracking to aim gimbal weapons or not, will change how responsive you'll want your curve. 
When you are head tracking to look around to maintain situational awareness, it's a good idea to be able to move your head in a way that feels natural while giving the maximum amount of rotation. For aiming gimbaled weapons, head tracking motion needs to be slower and more stable. This allows you to offset the aiming point of your weapons while keeping your aiming point stable. Hydro Big Bang shows how he sets his head tracking curves up for weapon aiming in his video here. Hydro Big Bang is one of the few players that use head tracking to aim weapons and is an expert in head tracking. His tips will help anyone looking to attempt aiming this way. Your ideal head look curves come down to personal preference. Start with the default setting and adjust until you're happy. Head tracking curves can be adjusted on the fly while in game. Just be sure to have your chosen software running in the background before starting the game or it will not be recognized. Try out a setting, alt tab to your head tracking software and adjust your curves and retest. Smoothing settings. Smoothing is achieved by the filter settings. This inserts a slight delay between transmitting your physical movements to the game. This will help smooth out your avatar's head movements by not sending inputs to the game at quite as high a rate, helping prevent unwanted movements from being transmitted to the game. Increasing the Accela filter reduction factor in face track no IR or smoothing in open track will make your head tracking less responsive but smoother. Decreasing them will make your head tracking more responsive but may introduce unwanted motion into the game. You can adjust this to suit your preference. Shortcut keys. Center brings your in-game view back to center, resetting it. Wherever your head is facing when you press this key is set as the new center by the software. Zero or game zero sets the center position of your avatar's head in game. Pressing the center button will bring your view back to this position. Start, stop or toggle pauses and unpauses the head tracking. This can be useful to bind this to the same key as your zoom button, if you have one, to prevent your view from moving wildly when zoomed in. In Face Track No IR, you can opt to have the last position held or center your view when you turn this off. Toggling in Open Track will hold the last viewed position. Axis Inhibitor. Axis Inhibitor will turn off the selected axis when toggled and bring your view back to center. Enable Reverse Axis. This option is only available in face track no IR and will reverse the direction of Z fore and aft translation position detection when you have your head turned more than a selected amount. This will make leaning around the seat more natural. This is more useful when your avatar is able to look over their shoulder, which is not possible in 2.6.3. However you set up your personal curves and settings, there are a few tips that will make your life easier. Open Track and Face Track No IR are constantly adding features. Be sure to keep your software up to date. Both versions of Open Track and Face Track No IR are linked in the description. Open Track comes in two flavors, regular and track hat. Both will work with the point tracker models. Binding a center key to a location that is in easy reach will allow you to correct any drift and realign your view. Make sure your head is facing forward before pressing the center view button. Yours should be set symmetrically to make looking in either direction logical. Pitch should be asymmetrical at the moment, with pitch up being set to the maximum output of 90 degrees straight up, while pitch down should be around 50 degrees. This will allow you to look down at your instruments easily while giving your upwards view maximum movement. Due to how limited your avatar's translation motion currently is, it's best to turn off all translation axes. This will force the tracker to only output rotation. This can be done by setting all translation axis curves to zero output or disabling them in the axis inhibitor keybind. In patch 2.6.3, the lower part of the pilot's helmet is visible and does not move with your avatar's head. This can be very distracting, especially when looking down. To overcome this, slide your chair slightly back and then press the center view button. Then slide back to your normal seating position. This will translate the camera slightly forward, putting the camera in front of the helmet, removing it from view. The original non-track hat open track will allow you to set a center offset. Setting a slight offset for Z will avoid having to use the chair slide back trick so as to avoid seeing your helmet. Getting your head tracking set up just right will help immerse you more into the game, give you more of a sense of being in the cockpit and allow you to look around easily to line up your carrier landing or find your next kill. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.